Hey, welcome everybody. This is the start of a new section in this Apex series. What I want to be showing you is how to create an actual application. Now we are going to still keep things pretty simple, but we're going to try to go a little bit more and to actually build something that might be useful. So this idea I have is an application that would allow me to keep track of when I reach out to other creators on YouTube or Twitter or whatever. Anytime I want to collaborate, I want to write that down so I can keep track if they responded, if I need to follow up, or whatever it might be. So, what we're going to first do is we're going to create some database tables, and then we're going to fill in some, fill some data into those tables, and then we're going to talk about how we can create this relationship manager. So, let's sign in to Apex, and we'll go into the SQL workshop first. And what we're going to go do is go into Utilities and click Quick SQL. Now we've talked about this a lot, so some of this is going to be review. But by the end of this next couple of videos, we'll have a really cool application which will have a list of users or a list of contacts where we can select and a, a series of notes that we can read and also add notes to the list. So it should be pretty cool. So hang in there while we get through some of the stuff we may have already talked about. What we're going to do is we're going to create a contacts table. This will have a first name and a last name. It also just have some various things of ways we could reach out to this person. So maybe it's their email or Twitter or YouTube. I'll also put a website in here. Basically any information we need about that person. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a notes table. And in here we'll have a contact ID which will basically associate this back to the contact table. We'll have a date created and we'll have a message, which will be the actual note content. First thing, I don't think we need 4,000 characters for the Twitter handle or anything, so I'm gonna change that real quick. I'll just make it varchar255, and I'll do that for these as well. And then just look over your SQL, make sure it seems right. This references the other table, so that's good. And we have the message, seems to be right. Everything's looking pretty good. Now, again, there is this help menu that you can look through if you need help with any of this stuff. For example, in the table directives, you can see insert NN. We can just basically put some sample data in this to see. So that's what I want to do. So we'll want to add a slash insert and then some number. So up for the contacts, let's just add five contacts. So we'll say insert five. And then what I want to do is I want to insert maybe 20 notes. Generate that, take a look at it, and then we'll just save. We will call this collab and review and run. All right, so we have a lot of statements here. It doesn't seem like anything broke, so what we're going to do is we're going to create an app from this script. And when you do this, you're going to get two default pages, one for the contacts and one for the notes. This will allow us to look through the data, and that's exactly what we want. We're just going to call this application collab. Scroll down, I'm just going to check all the features, and I'm going to create application. Awesome, so right off, let's just run the application, see what it looks like. Sign in with your Apex credentials. And you have the contacts and the notes. So let's first look in the contacts, see all the people we're reaching out to. So it looks pretty good. Obviously the Twitter handle and the URLs might be a little long, but it serves its purpose for now. So these are all the people I may have reached out to, and I just put all their information I knew about them here so I could remember. Next thing, we have the notes. These are the things that we actually said to these people. So for example, for this person, here is a note about them. So maybe I wrote in here, reached out to them on Twitter, waiting for a response or something like that, or follow up in three days. So what you can do is you can select the contact ID and choose which person you're looking for information for. So for example, August, you can get all of August's information or Griselda. <laughs> And there's all the information for that person as well. Now, another cool thing is what we can do is let's get rid of these filters here and go to the contacts table. In here, you can actually select this person's name. It will automatically grab the notes for that person. So for example, we can select Dean and take a look at this. Here are all the notes from Dean. So it's filtering by the contact ID. Dean is selected. You can also uncheck that if you want to go back and you can easily toggle that. So it's pretty crazy how automatically it already knows that we're going to look at the notes for various contacts just based on the database relationships. 
So, I mean, it, it could be that our app is already functional and we don't actually have to do anything else. We are gonna do some other things, but the actual core functionality is here. You can actually go in here and you can create your own notes. It's gonna be a little wonky because you're gonna to have to get that person's contact ID. So you're gonna to need to go look in the database tables or you're gonna to have to type in the date manually and then you'll have to type in your message. So it's working, but there are some things we could improve on. First off, if the contact ID was automatically filled in there, the date was already put to today. Those two things alone would make this application a lot better. And we're also going to add another page in our application, which will have a new display called a master detail page. And essentially in this situation, the names will be on the left. You select the name and the, the notes that we created about this person are going to be on the right. So that way we can just have a better visual of the different people options and the notes associated with them without having to go to two separate pages. So let's talk about this again and what we're gonna do next in the next video. Hopefully this was really helpful, just setting up a really simple relationship manager. I mean, at this point, we've put about five minutes into it, so it's probably not gonna compete with some of the projects already built out there that you could use, but you can elaborate on this and build it to your exact needs, which is the really cool part. So I'm pretty excited. Be sure to check out the next video because this should be pretty fun.